Hey you guys, my name is Smika. This is my channel, Smika Michelle, and today we will be unboxing Owl Cray Banger Banger Banger. This is their poison apothecary box, and that's intriguing. Those are trigger words for me, trigger words of excitement, and I can't wait to open it. So without further ado, let's get started. She's a Mona Lisa. Everyone's lining up to see her. Here is our art card for Owl Crate that has our spoilers on the back. So let's find out what we got. This is the first thing I'm seeing. The Owl Crate Apothecary. And it says Bibliophile Brew. What is this? Oh, beautiful, whatever it is. Oh, that's pretty. That, I don't think there's anything in it, but it says Owl Crate Apothecary Cures Reader's Block. <laughs> Be foul brew. Take one when experience literary indecisiveness. That's beautiful. Oh, and then you take the little, and then there you go. That's so cute. I think this is, let Owl Crate Apothecary decide your fictional fate. So this is a TBR jar. Oh, well that's just stunning. I love that. I have a TBR jar, but you know what? I'm willing to put my stuff in here. <laughs> this is so cute. I need to update my TBR jar. It's, it's years outdated. So it would be nice to revisit what I need to read. This is cute. I love this. Next up, I'm seeing this right here. And what I'm gathering is that it is some kind of, it says mint and clementine. And it says fictional bath coat, a vial of dreams, high kith bubble elixir. So it is a bubble bath. Seeing this, which is really cute. I love this design. I love this design. So it says here that it is a blissful bookish coat. Rem, um, reimagine Lucy Purvis's healing cordial, cordial for the design and bottles for Narnia. So this is um, an item from Narnia inspired uh, bottle keychain where you can either put hand sanitizer or lotion. And my cap is broken, which makes me a little bit sad, but I did test this out um, with other things that are the shape bottle. You can just push this out. If you're like me, <laughs> you can push this out and replace it with any um, bottle that you would like to use this around the shape. So not all loss. Let's just be honest. We're not here for the bottle. We're here for this letter bound piece here and I'm happy. Now, this is a weird item. <laughs> He says, this is a popsicle mold. Uh, fans of Three Dark Crowns will notice that all of the nods, um, that all of the nods to the series that included in the design. This is a weird item. I don't know if I use it. I'm not much of a popsicle person, at least not homemade popsicle, but this is so cute. I'm tempted to at least try it once. Then we have this, now this is fun. This is an enameled bookmark. So you see the chain in the back. Oh, that's pretty. And it says, drink me and eat me, which is clearly a reference to Alice in Wonderland, which I am always here for. Our monthly enamel pin that is a note, which is a nod to whatever book we get. And I'm excited because I think I know what the book is and I'm just like, ah! And lastly, we have this item. This is inspired by a book called Lambert Loss. And this is a, it says, uh, the poison garden. This is gorgeous though. Look at that. I like that. That's cute. And then it has um, all these different herbs. Or I'm assuming poisonous herbs at this point, because I'm seeing wolf spain, I'm seeing deadly night, deadly nightshade, um, wisteria things I've heard before <laughs> that have never been um, a good thing. Am I the only one when you get pretty stuff like this, you don't want to use it? Like, it could be me, but I'd be like, I don't want to use it. I don't want to see it dirty. Bam! 
Isn't that pretty? Oh, you know what? I really wanted to split. Let me tell y'all, this was on my TBR. Um, like, this is one of my anticipated reads. I've been waiting on it. I was about to buy it. Glad I didn't. Would have got jumped again. But let's open it up real quick. Here is the book. Oh, so pretty. This design is really pretty. I'm curious if they did anything else. Oh, I love that. I love that. The Poison Heart um, by, I think it's Raina Barron, am I right? Oh, Kaylin Byron, by Kaylin Byron. That's the author. And here's, oh, that's pretty. And, in, and honestly, plants have made a huge comeback in popularity these days. So needless to say, this is gorgeous. I love this. Hey you guys, I know it's it's been a while, but um, I thought I'd attempt a reading vlog. So if this goes up, that means I was successful. Yay! But um, I my goal is to do a reading vlog for Poison Heart. I, me and this author have a love hate relationship. So I read what I believe is her debut novel, which was um cinderella's dead right i read that i don't think i ever got a review from me but here's the thing i loved and hated that book like i loved her writing i love some of the things that happened in the book if that makes sense but like the book as a whole was not my favorite so this book i'm really hoping um is different because the premise is really good the premise is really cool, it's really good. Um, and I think it's gonna have a bit of a horror element to it that I am here for. Um, and if you don't know anything about this book, this, book's um, this book tells the story of a young girl who has the ability essentially to what, grow plants, right? Um, just by touch or it, essentially by emotion. And she comes to inherit an old home that has like a beautiful botanical garden, but there's like a secret mystery that's haunting both the estate that also comes with like instructions. And she's surrounded by the most deadliest plants in the, on the planet or whatever. And like just a whole bunch of stuff. Now, here's what I found out after obtaining this book. It's in a series. So I'm a little bit disappointed that we're not gonna come to a conclusion at the end of this book. But with that said, I'm really hoping for a good time. I'm I love her writing and I'm hoping for a good time. So without further ado, I'm just gonna go ahead and get started this thing. I just read chapter one of this book and she definitely holds up to being a fantastic writer. Like it's it's still fun to read this. Um, I do, if I'm correct, I do enjoy the dynamics, the family dynamics here. I believe that she, that she has essentially two moms, which is pretty awesome. Um, but the way that it's written, it's written so beautifully and effortlessly and natural that I'm all for it, all for it. And um, another thing that's really interesting is her troubles. Um, I didn't expect, I expected that, I don't know what I was expecting. You know what, to be fair, I expected that she was gonna be hiding it, but this is like intertwined in her life. And so it was very interesting to hear how her family deals and responds to um, her abilities and you know, how that's affected her and her dreams and hopes for the future and how her family thinks about that. So a lot was kind of covered in one in chapter one. So I was really happy and it was only 16, what, 16 pages or so. So I was just like, oh, okay. So I, um, next time that I get back with you guys, it will will be I mean at least a quarter of the way through at least well maybe a third like 10 chapters in there's 31 chapters in the book at least 10 chapters in to um really know if this is it hey you guys it's me again it's day two um, of this vlog I am actually if you can see that I am at the gym I'm about to actually go in there and do my workout for the day but um I fell asleep, so I was not able to like tell you where I left off at. 
But um, I have my book here and I just wanted to um, ugh, give y'all dibs on what's going on so far. Okay, so The Poison Heart. I am currently on chapter 12, like perfectly on chapter 12. So page 145. So I'm really excited to go ahead and just kind of dive into this one. So I would say like where we left off at, it was very much just establishing characters, but not even all the characters, technically. Um, because where I left off that there nothing had really happened, we we're just learning about our life. But since then, we have finally gotten to the plot of the book, which is her inheriting the place, and now her and her family are pretty much checking it out to decide if you know this is something that they want to take on. If this well, not take on as much as they, you know, want to live there or whatever. Um, due to certain circumstances in their life, it would be in their best interest to do so. However, they don't want to do anything that's like, you know, not really right for their family. So I really, really was like, eh. one thing I will say is that Kaylin loves Jordan Peele. Like if you don't get nothing out of this book, Kaylin is a huge, 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 huge fan of Jordan Peele. And even in like, I was reading like her little biography here in the back and it says when she's not writing you can find her listening to Ella Fitzgerald on the loop attending a theater and watching scary movies like I was just like clearly she loves scary movies like it's so prevalent <laughs> like the the amount of um choices she makes and you know and she also says things that you know really are like for the culture that i truly appreciate when she talks about wash day eco styler jail um and she makes like direct references to jordan peele's movies so there's just certain things that are just very like yeah this is her like really like putting herself into her work right which is really cool um another thing that i will note is that I thought it would, I thought the book itself, outside of the notion of haunted things and things like that, I don't know, I think I expected this to be just a, a tad bit more scarier. There was a book, and I don't remember if I gave y'all a review, I probably didn't, but it's called The Lost Apothecary, and um, it was a book that I obtained through Once Upon a Book Club. This is very, very similar to that, <laughs> very similar to that book on completely different ends of the spectrum because this young lady was adopted and essentially she's learning about her family and the mystery is how is she the way she is and so I think the whole point of this book is that she's going to learn where she comes from and why she's able to do the things that she does um, is what I'm hoping we get out of the book what, what I'm gathering is that maybe she just kind of is and because of what she can do her family through the generations have done this particular thing and she would have to do it too but this book has like this very much looming like your mother tried to save you from this she didn't want you to have to deal with this and I was just like so what is this so I'm really really looking forward to actually moving on I didn't think that I would get through it like I'm getting through it which for some people might be slow but for me is like Speedy Gonzalez you know what I'm saying so I'm really really happy about that my goal is to get through another 10 chapters hey you guys so for you you know time did nothing but um, actually, I'm still at the gym. I've actually completed my workout, believe it or not. Uh, and I decided before I go home, I'm going to like knock out one chapter of this book. And you know what? One thing I will say is that um, she has created a book where the characters... And let me turn down my air conditioner. I don't even know if you can hear me, but... She has created a book where the characters feel familiar. They all feel like family. I love the banter. I have developed a love for this family. Like... If, if I, I can't say anything else about like how I feel about the plot but as far as like am I regretting reading this no is this beautiful and a good time yes um and her writing is so much fun let me just read like this whole thing that's just like really really cool in my mind okay so it doesn't matter just listen to it okay my heart galloped into a furious rhythm as I tried to disentangle myself. Some of the purple leaves came off in the struggle, but bloomed again under my touch. Another tendril encircled my wrists and squeezed me so hard I couldn't breathe. They dragged me across the ground, knocking my glasses off, and then held me upright, my feet dangling above the ground. Stop! I cried out. 
The poisonous vines loosen their grip, sitting me down gently, but not letting go. The devil's pet and poison ivy parted like a theater curtain in front of me. There in the stone wall was a rusted metal door. At its center was a coat of arms or a chest of some kind. Like her writing is just so fucking visual and it's not filled with a bunch of fluff. Like that was so like, uh, easy to picture in my mind. I really, really just loved it. So I am really enjoying the poison heart. I'm enjoying the writing, which is what I counted on. I've always liked her writing. It was just like, ah, the propaganda of it all. Um, because she's not subtle. <laughs> As you can see, she tells you exactly how it is. She's not a subtle writer, um, which is fine which is why I like it because it's straight to the point and it doesn't make it hard for me to be in the story. Um, but with that said, so far, I'm really, really loving this book. Like I, it is living in a strong four right now. Like it is living in a strong four. Um, so, um, next time I see you guys, we'll see where I'm at, but thank y'all so much for enjoying it so far. But yeah, I'm going to get back to this. Bye. Hey you guys, so I'm editing this video and it comes to my attention, I do not have a conclusion. I feel like it's somewhere, but I don't know where. Um, I do have final thoughts coming up in my next video, which is my September wrap up, because that's when I read this book. But uh, <laughs> I wanted to just go on ahead and just wrap it all up for you. Um, I gave this book a four out of five stars. I was completely correct. It was a solid four. The only thing that really was a pitfall is that sometimes things were a little bit slow and there was a love interest that I was just like mm, it was too insta lovey for me so it was just like little nitpicky things um sometimes there were certain irrational behaviors that I was just like not justifiable to me but it was very minuscule and very rare but that's the reason why um, it didn't get the perfect five. I am looking forward to the next book in the series. They left you on like one heck of a cliffhanger and I'm definitely here for it. So thank y'all so much for watching my vlog and I hope all y'all are doing well. Let me know what are y'all reading? Um, I wanna know down below, what are you reading now that you are loving? And if you're not reading something that you're loving right now, put that book down and go read something good. All right, you guys, as always, mwah, till next time. Bye. Ah. She's a Mona Lisa. Everyone's lining up to see her. She's a Mona Lisa.